I always wanted people to know that I'm African first and I'm South Sudanese. I really wanted to be an all-star so bad. And it was all because of motivation to, you know, show my t-shirt that had the African map in it. Because I was trying to get the NBA's attention to do more in Africa. I left South Sudan when I was five. Um, I moved to Egypt. I lived in Egypt for five years. When I came to Chicago, you know, it was a big part of me to let people know that I was South Sudanese. And my friend Amadou and I would go every summer to Africa and we would just start uh, basketball camps. And now we have over 260 kids, whether it's scholarships or professional uh, basketball players. And we recently just started Hair League, which is the first league ever for the girls in South Sudan. I thought that for me, it was a huge part of, you know, just letting people know what our federation is about and what we stand for. And also we have so many talented girls see our women's team go out there and perform and represent us. So we made sure that we had a team. You know, during my camps, I would always coach. I enjoyed coaching uh, in my camps because I was coaching the, the players, the, the, young, the young players, and there was no pressure in it. Uh, when I got to be the president of Basketball Federation, I stepped in because I knew the players very well and we did well, we qualified for Afro Basket. When you have um, a continent as big and as young uh, as Africa and as it's talented, it's really about putting a platform and the resources in the right place. And I think with the NBA being involved and FIBA being involved, I think that every year they will keep on improving and I think that that you know, we show that the league has so much potential that's bigger than most of other leagues. And that's because of the talent and how young uh, the continent is.